Today, we're gonna to be going over how you can ethically steal your competition sales, one that you can do manually, and a second that you can do almost fully automatically. Now, when you're doing your product research and you're trying to think of a way to find out what customers want in the market and what sort of changes they want on the product, where do you think the best place is to find this kind of feedback for free? Well, if you think about it, there's a place that all customers go to leave their feedback, sometimes if they've had a good experience, but always if they've had a negative one, and that is in the reviews. Now, the quickest way to finding a successful product to sell on Amazon is through your competitors' negative reviews. And if you are somebody who has their feelings hurt when you get a negative review and you get all torn up over it and emotional, then you have an ego problem, okay? The negative reviews are the quickest path to showing is what we need to do in order to encapsulate the market. Encapsulate, is that even a word? I'm sticking with it. So we're gonna jump across to my computer and I'm gonna show you first the manual way of how you go through and find the reviews that are going to show you what it is the customers in your market want for their products and the things that your competitors aren't capitalizing on. And then we're gonna go over a way that you can nearly fully automate the system so that you can have a constant flow of product ideas coming into you moving forward. Wham, all right, we're over here at my computer now. We're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you first the manual way that you can go through and find the little ideas on how you're gonna improve your product and how you're gonna launch into the marketplace better than all your competitors. So you can see here we're on Amazon Australia and all I've done is I've searched this pregnancy pillow. Now, if we come down, we're gonna click on this one here, which has a heap of reviews. Don't be like me, okay? Be better than me, don't click on other people's ads, but we're gonna do it this time. And then when we come through to the listing, for those of you who don't know how to find the reviews, you can either click on it here or we scroll all the way down to the bottom and then when we get down here, we can see straight away, it's got the percentages of the different types as well as some images, which we'll come back to in a sec. But for us starting here, we're gonna start at the one stars, all right? So we're just gonna click on those here and we can jump in and we can have a look, okay? So straight away, too squishy with no support, way too soft and squishy, okay? You can go through this one, doesn't keep me from sleeping on my back. On my first pregnancy, I had a pillow shape like this and loved it, big and heavy. This one's too light, all right? So straight away, we see a theme with these Maybe they're not making them as strong or as firm as they could be to cut down on shipping costs or to just cut down on manufacturing. So what you do is you go through these and you start to write out a list of potential ideas that you can discuss with a designer, discuss with a supplier and see what it's gonna cost and if it's feasible for you, okay? So I'd go, can we make a stronger pillow? Can we make it a bit more full? more stuffing or a bit more firm, okay? And then another way to give you a more like visual representation of this is you can come down and you can see some of them actually have images with them. So you can click in and you can see this lady or this man showing here how some of them, like we said, it's not properly filled, okay? So you can see those squishy spots. They're saying the quality is not appealing. So we definitely wanna have that point down, okay? And the reason you also make a list is because these things are the, are the specifications that you want to put into your listing for your bullet points, for your EBC, right? So you could write there right up the top, our pillows are full, our pillows are more firm than all our competitors. Or maybe you have an image that has yours and then other brand and you're showing theirs being floppy and yours being firm and supportive. Okay, so you build this list and then when you're going to do your bullet points, you don't have to start from complete scratch. Okay, because you already know what it is that your customers are going to be looking for and what they want and you've got a list right there of all the perfect conversion points. So you'd go through here, it seems the general theme is just that it's not a super high quality pillow. You'd be able to go through each one manually and just be looking for certain keywords or having to read the whole thing, which I know can take some time. So in one sec, I'm now gonna show you how we do it automatically. Whoa, well, quick 10 second break. This Monday the 14th is the cutoff for the entry into our Amazon Australia Accelerator program. If you want to launch a product onto Amazon Australia with coaching from me every single week, then this will be the last chance for you to get in. It's the last one we're running for quite some time, so I've made it accessible to so many more people. So if it's something that interests you, I know it's not for everyone, but it's the first link down in the description. Go check it out. Now let's jump back to my computer. Alrighty, so the way that we can sort of automate it a bit more and have it a bit easier and more digestible for us to read is actually through using a tool in Zonguru. Okay, now I talk about Zonguru all the time here on this channel. It's a product research tool amongst many other things for Amazon. 
If you don't have it yet and you want a mad discount, we have a link down below that they've provided for Australians wanting to get in there and selling. But if you come in, the tool is actually called Love Hate, okay? And it's super underutilized. It's in the product research section, the tab here, and we go Love Hate. And then all you do is you come in and I like to go add products via phrase. You'll then search. So for us doing it here, we'd go pregnancy pillow and you change this to Australia and you hit search. And then all I do is I go select all and then I come down and I would unselect maybe like this one, right? Any that aren't the product that I'm looking for. Then you go add products all and it runs. I've just done one already because it comes out like this and you open it up. Now we can see all the reviews and how they're categorized. And then if we want to, we can go in and see the exact products that the reviews are linked to. So as you can see, we scroll down here and on the right, we can see the keywords that they are attached to. Okay, so we were looking at that just one product before the poor quality. So we can click on this here and then we can go down and we can read it. Okay, so very poor quality with very little filling and we can see the product that it is. So look, it's for a similar one. This is a different one, another different one. So we can see straight away there's a number of competitors who are on there who people say have poor quality, okay? And then if we want, we can click here, click see product, it's gonna open it up. We can see if they do a bad job on photos or, you know, like that one looks pretty good. So we can see even when someone is creating a bad product that people don't like, they're still making sales, okay? So if we come in with a good product and we take care of the customer, imagine how much better you're going to do. So obviously there's several of them here and you can see they're ranked by uh, the number of times that it's mentioned. And you would just go through, you'd have a read, you go in and see the products, but then also it's also categorized what people love about the products, okay? So you can come in here and do the exact same thing People like it uh, for the belly support, right? Or hip pain. You go in and click these and read these reviews on the reasons people liked it for maybe belly support, okay? Because then you go in and you'll know, okay, this is something that I need to include on my product that maybe only one of them is doing well. Or you'll go in and read and it'll say, hey, the belly support was really, really good. I would love it even more if maybe it had a strap or a little handle or anything like that, right? So all you have to do is set it up when you've got a couple of product niches that you're looking at, have Zon Guru run them while you're off doing other things, come back and check them, and then you'll be able to start, again, writing down a list of particular ideas for you to go talk to a designer, talk to your supplier about and be like, hey, can we incorporate something to make the belly support better? Hey, can we make it so that the quality is a bit better? Okay, so it lays it all out for you so that you immediately know the way that you can take care of the customers that your competition isn't. So there you have it guys. I'm so, so proud of you for taking this extra step and learning this technique that not a lot of people know about. Okay, so you get to go in and find those great product ideas. If you're wanting to launch a product on Amazon, I have this playlist coming up here, which shows you every single step that you're gonna need in order to launch a product on, on Amazon Australia. It's here on YouTube for free, or I think this video is also gonna really help you out. But you guys did so, so well today. And remember, you're only one product away from living the life of your dreams. Thank you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.